Okay, so here we're told we have a regular hexagon in, inscribed inside a circle. Now, a regular hexagon means all the sides are exactly the same. And our goal here is to find the measure of angle AG, this point at intersection here, E. So we're looking at angle AGE, that's this angle. We want to know what is that. And that's really all the information we're given, but you know, it's more than enough to solve it. Now, first of all, we need to know how many degrees are on the interior of a hexagon. And we can remember that a triangle has 180 degrees, right? A square, essentially two triangles, has 180 plus 180, or 360 degrees. Uh, a pentagon, right, one, two, three, I always I have a hard time drawing a pentagon, four, five, there we go. Um, that is like having one, two, three triangles, right, so 180 plus 180 plus 180, or 540 degrees. So a hexagon, right, the shape we have here, the hexagon has another 180 degrees, and polygons build up like this. It's You can start with a triangle and work your way up. So another 180 degrees here will give us what? Well, 100 plus 540 is 640 plus 60 is uh, 600, right? Uh, 700, excuse me, plus another 20 is 720. So 720 degrees. It's a regular hexagon, so every angle is the same. So I think, for example, if I look at angle D, it's going to be 720 degrees, the total interior angle, angle sum, divided by the number of angles, which is 6, right? And that's what? 120 degrees. So this angle, like every other in the hexagon, is 120 degrees. The thing to, to work with here is that well, each of these angles is really like an inscribed angle. It's an angle formed by two chords in a circle. And what's wonderful about that is um, that angle is equal to one half the measure of the arc that it intercepts. So here the arc would be all the way from E to C, and it would be essentially double this angle. So for example, arc E, well, you know, I won't call it EC because it won't be clear which way we're going, but it's called EAC, right, that big arc. That's equal to 2 times 120, or 240 degrees. Now, that's helpful because, you know, every part of this arc is made up by one of these pieces. And you don't know the exact measure to begin with of each of these, these smaller pieces. But all you know is that they're the exact same thing because, uh, right, they're intercepted in the exact same way by a regular hexagon. Every piece of the hexagon, every side is the same. So each of these arcs is also the same. So in this entire measurement of arc E, A, C, are, are these pieces, and they're all equal. So we're going to divide the entire length of this arc by the number of these equal pieces. So we have one, two, three, four of them. So 240 degrees divided by four, that would give us the total length of one of these pieces. That's 60 degrees. So each of these arcs are 60 degrees. Now this angle right here, right, AGE, is in a special situation, right, it's formed by the intersection of two chords. And what we can use um, when we have the angle formed by the intersection of two chords is that the measure, right, oops, I will write down here, the measure of, in this case, angle AGE, one that's intercepted by the chords, is equal to one half of the sum of the measures of the of the arcs it intercepts. So in this case, that's arc E F A. So the measure of E F A, that arc, sum, so plus the measure of arc B C here. So B C. And you know, I'd, I'll highlight that. So we have these two arcs and you know, the arc of, by the, the chord here and the chord here intercept forms an arc going from this point to this point. That's this big arc right here, made up of one, two of these pieces. So that's 120 degrees, right? Plus BC, which is just this arc right here, one of these pieces, or 60 degrees. So put all this together, and the measure of our angle is one half of 180, right? and that's 90 degrees. 
So here the answer is 90 degrees. Hope that helped.